the Oolong handicap chase is next. It's a two mile one furlong, not to one forty. And the top weight is Mandrake Root for Martin Little, General in Chief Jim Murray, Hollow Spear, David Robertson, Give Me Style, John Morgan, Rule the Seas, Paul Rhodes, Sahiba Bam, James Shea, Lions Raw, Paul Rhodes, Valmina Tate, David Robertson, Grand Clutterbox got two, Operation Bluebell and the Ranting Art, Norcroft Mountain for James Shea, Dazed Ballet Dancer, Darren Thompson, Even Soul, Alex Cherry, and Ron Kino for OB1. So 14 then in this. And away they go. The top weight Mandrake Root, the first one to poke its head into the lead, but now it looks like it's going to be Hollow Spear that leads them into the first of the 14. And they're pretty tightly packed at this point. I wanted to pull in for their head, as you can see, the pace is a little bit slow as they get to the first. And all over it, the John Morgan Gray on its nose, give me style. It got away with it, okay, and General in Chief has now gone on. So General in Chief it is, then leads them into the second from the Paul Rhodes pair, second and third. And then Mandrake Root on the outside of Sahiba Band with Norcroft Mountain also up there and the Ranting Art being driven up into a position as well. Grand Clutterbox other one. Operation Bluebell is currently tailing Charlie, but it's General in Chief who takes this sharpish turn with a lead of two and a half to Lions are all second. Rule the Seas stable mate in third. Out jump there though by the Ranting Art who's now poked its head into second. And Norcroft Mountain, Hollow Spear, and Mandrake Root just dropped back a little bit from that early start as they get to the fourth. Which they're all to the other side of again. And General in Chief now joined by the Ranting Art. With Hollow Spear back in third place. Then Rule the Seas and Lions Rock. And Norcroft Mountain and Sahiba Band as they get over the water. Which they all scurry over. As usual, and the order is pretty much the same. With General in Chief on the inside, Ranting Art on the near side as they get over that one. Gap of four lengths back to Norcroft Mountain on the outside of Ruler Season Hollow Spear. And Lion's Roar is right over on the far rail. Drake Root and the Stripes just tucked in behind the first of the greys. He's Give Me Style. In fact, it won't be the only grey as they get over that one. It is, in fact. Ron Kino being pushed along in the yellow colours on the rail. With Operation Bluebell moving through the field nicely. Days Bally Dance of Valmina Tail, even Soul and Norcroft Mountain on the back four. But it's the Ranting Art of General in Chief. They're already down towards the business end of the race. They get over number nine then. And they're all over that one safely with the Ranting Art in the lead. General in Chief in second. These two now being joined by Lion's Roar. And these three are clear of all the seasons. They get over that huge looking ditch, which they all get over nicely. And General in Chief is in the lead. They've got four more fences to take. And this is the fourth for home. And over it they go. Better jump by the Ranting Art, who's now gone back into the lead. The Ranting Art on the outside. The General in Chief on the near side, on the on the far side on the rail, then Lions Roar and Hollow Spear and Rule the Sea, Sahiba Band, Give Me Style is running on, then Operation Bluebell and Mandrake Root slow over that one as that was the third last, just two more to take then now, and it's wide open, the Ranting Arts in the lead, General in Chief's on the inside, Lions Roar now switches to the outside, Rule the Seas tries to close then, Hollow Spear is next, Give Me Style, the Grey is still trying to run on with Sahiba Band and Operation Bluebell, but it's the Ranting Arts in front, the Ranting Art, General in Chief and next down, this is the second last, over it they go, they land virtually together, the Paul Rhodes pair are chasing, look at this grey, give me style, he's eating up the ground, also coming through his Sahiba band, they're coming out towards the final fence, and now Lions Roar leaps into the lead, and Lions Roar suddenly leaps clear, and he's quickly gone three or four lengths clear, racing into the final half furlong, it's Lions Roar, the Ranting Arts trying to get back, and now Dave's Bunny Dancer is absolutely flying on the outside, and he's getting closer as they come towards the line, oh, I don't know, Goodness me, I just turned into Frankie Howard and Bay <laughs> Day's Bunny Dancer may have got up and won that. I don't know. It's the angle's gonna be quite deceptive, but the jockey on Paul Rhodes' horse is sitting there doing nothing, and this is gonna be another one of those envelope jobs, isn't it? Another Paul Rhodes jockey sacking. We haven't seen one yet this season, but that is gonna cause an almighty uproar in the forum tomorrow, I would think, because Day's Bunny Dancer has come from absolutely nowhere and totally stole that from 
Lions Roar looks all over the winner. So Dave's Bully Dance to Darren Thompson wins it. Lions Roar, Paul Rhodes second. Sahiba Man, James Shea was third. Ruler sees Paul Rhodes fourth. Give me style. John Morgan, who was the one who looked like he was making good ground from the bat, was fifth.